Hi Bear, how's it going? So, this week, we have not only a letter, but we also have a vowel. Well, this is a very curious vowel. It sort of looks like a colon. And usually you see it at the beginning of a word. And it indicates that you have to pause a little bit. But at the same time, to me at least, it always sounds like there's a bit of a an uh uh sound that is made whenever you, you see this vowel. As we shall see when we go over today's lines. Now, there is also a letter for today. What is that letter? How is it related to the drawing? Sort of image of me in the today's printable worksheet? Well, let's see. There it is up there. Mm. Looks like L. Sounds like L. Thanks, National Jewish Outreach Program. You are so helpful with your great poster. Now then, that image that you should have in front of you, printable worksheet that you downloaded off my website, shows me with a lasso. Lasso. L. Nice hard L sound. So, hopefully, you have at least tried to read the first line. If not, you can hit a little pause button, come back. Let's try it out together, shall we? Alright. It goes something like this. Bal. Led. Deal. Sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? Alright. Go for... The next two lines. Did you pause? Are you back? Well, all right. Let's do this thing, shall we? Lear, Mil, Rale, Le Med, or Le Med, depending on how quickly you read it. Both are pretty much, you know, they're all right. All right, the next line is a surprise that I have for you. It goes something like this. Amarava Lerav. Why is this a surprise? Chiefly because it is actually a line of words that you would really see in the Gemara. Pretty cool, isn't it? It means said Rava to Rav. Like, two guys, one of them is named Rava, the other one is named Rav, and one of them said something to the other. Aren't you psyched? I know I am. Anyway, hope you're well, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.